One week after starter Tua Tagovailoa suffered a concussion, backup Skylar Thompson left the game midway through the third quarter of Sunday's 24-3 loss to the Seattle Seahawks. Thompson had what coach Mike McDaniel called a painful rib injury, leaving the Dolphins with more questions at the most important position on the field after just three weeks of the season. Thompson's final play was a five-yard pass to Devonna Kane with 9.46 left in the third, but he took a hard shot on the previous drive when Seahawks linebacker Tyrell Dodson hit him for a sack. One of five he took on the day. Thompson finished 13 of 19 for 107 yards and was replaced by Tim Boyle at quarterback. Half the pain or half of the frustration for him, I think, was he was really trying to find a way to not come out of the game, McDaniel said. And ultimately, it was pretty painful. He fought through it, but we'll get a chance to look at him tomorrow. Thompson was slow to get up following the hit from Dodson and was slightly hunched over at the midsection as he ran off the field. He returned for the next series, but stayed down for several minutes after completing the pass to a chain. Thompson remained on his back for a few minutes before sitting up and walking directly to the locker room. The injury to Thompson came a little over a week after Tagovailoa suffered his third concussion in the past two years in a loss to Buffalo. Tagovailoa was placed on injured reserve earlier this week, meaning he's not an option for the Dolphins for at least four games. McDaniel didn't reveal what the Dolphins' plan is for the upcoming week if Thompson is unable to go for Miami's home matchup against Tennessee next Monday night. Miami did sign Tyler Huntley off the Ravens' practice squad earlier this week, and he served as the third quarterback Sunday. McDaniel sounded optimistic that the rest of the highly regarded offense would be able to bounce back, even with the team going through a roller coaster couple of weeks under center. I think consistency has to be found from the nucleus in the group, McDaniel said. The guys that truly know the offense have to really be on it, and we have to just keep chopping wood and get better fast. Those things happen, and you know, every single season, there's teams that find a way to win football games when their starter or even their backup is out. It was the third significant injury for the Dolphins in the game after left tackle Taron Armstead, I, and cornerback Kendall Fuller, concussion, were injured in the first half. Fuller was hurt during the first quarter, was evaluated, then ruled out early in the second half. Armstead's injury was announced late in the second quarter, and Kendall Lamb stepped in as his replacement. Seattle lost significant depth on its defensive line with injuries to Byron Murphy II and Leonard Williams in the first half. Seahawks coach Mike McDonald didn't have updates on either injury.